Hi and welcome back to MRTV. I'm still here in Shanghai at the Pimax headquarter. Now I'm trying out Elite Dangerous and I know lots of you are excited about this because you want to have dark blacks and uh, yeah, space, right? Dark blacks and you want to see if the Pimax crystal can offer you that. I have the feeling yes. <laughs> so I know like my last videos, I did sound like a broken record where I just said like, okay, this is the best that I've seen so far. It looks great. And the thing is, it's just like that. It's, it's simply like that for, for the experience I've tried out now. So let's now jump into Elite Dangerous. Let's do this. And I am now here. Okay. I'm now here in the, in the cockpit. Eliza, do you see what I see? Okay, so I'm here in the cockpit. It looks as expected, incredibly, incredibly black, incredibly detailed and clear. Again, I'm using again the 35 PPD lenses because that is simply what is the most comfortable for me in, in this headset. And it's still a very, very good FOV. Like it's, it's way better than the Aero. And it's also better than the Reverb G2. And it's, it's getting into index territory. So let me grab the controller. Where is the controller here? And let me um, auto launch probably, right? Oh yeah, okay, launching. And we are launching this. Okay, I can enjoy the view. Yeah, so these DMES, the DMES speakers yeah. here, they are good. They are very close to Index or, or G2, so I prefer them over the others, and I hope that Pimax will give them to you. If you pre-order, then this will be included. And they should include it for, for all the people anyways. Okay, so now we are in space and wow, it, it's, yeah, it's just like, uh, wow, again, again, the same feeling. I have not seen Elite Dangerous like this. It's remarkable. Wow. So the thing is, the the blacks the black of the of the space just looks super dark okay so this is we're here in the in the tutorial and i'm supposed to do pitch roll and it doesn't really work here on this on the controller what <clears throat> oh, okay, I have to wait a little time. Uh, uh, Doesn't work? Uh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. It does work. <laughs> I just did the wrong thing. Okay. Yes. So... Okay, throttle is here. Yes. Yes. It, it looks absolutely clear. So I told you that with the arrow already, right? Like this kind of um, picture quality where you, it feels like you're looking at a glossy magazine picture. It simply feels like you're looking at a glossy magazine picture and that is the, 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 the case here as well but with much better darks. And now playing this, also I don't have, I don't, in this game, I don't have any problems with, with any blooming effects. It's just, it's like great darks and great contrasts and high glossy magazine pictures. Um, Pierce, could you um, turn off the local dimming for me for a moment? Okay. Thank you. 
Just want to see the difference again. Oh yeah, wow, wow. That is such a huge difference. So, yeah, the, <laughs> the, the black of the, of the space looks not so black anymore, but the other things, like, uh, like now I see like a starship or something like this, that looks actually more vibrant now. That looks better now. Okay, can you turn on local dimming again? Turn on. Okay, actually, actually, it's still, it's, it's still very, <laughs> it's still very nice. The that star or whatever the starship. Okay, what? The, okay, so yeah, local dimming works. Local dimming works. Controller. What should I? What? What should I do? Wait. Oh, so I should stop. Zero. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Reverse. It looks great. So, if, if you are into the dangerous and if you want to have like really good, really, really super nice blacks, way better than your LCD panel right now, if you want super, super crazy clarity, like photorealistic, photorealistic clarity, then go for the crystal. It is crystal clear. I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but this is simply what I'm seeing here. It has a very nice binocular overlap. It's, it's absolutely, yeah, it's an absolutely immersive experience. And that now in this stage where I haven't tried uh, the eye tracking so far, and yeah, it probably doesn't, it's not um, turned on yet. I'm, I'm not sure if they can, do it probably not now but um yeah even even in this stage here i can i can absolutely recommend it to you so really really good really really great experience yeah and again i have told you that before the beautiful thing here is that this does not feel like the 8KX or the other Pimax headsets before in terms of opticals, where you feel like you have to do something about your eyesight, something is wrong. This is like comfortable on your eyes, just like the Valve Index. Okay, I have to accelerate to the target. Let's see where this is. Ah, here. Here's a target. Let's go there. So very nice um, 3D image, thanks to the nice binocular overlap. Absolutely perfect clarity. Yes, I am a fan. I am a fan of this headset. Again, if you have a problem with only being able to be in this headset for six hours and then having to swap the batteries, then this is not for you. But I think for the majority of people, six hours should be fine. If you're wondering why this will still drain your battery, even you play this in PC VR mode, simply check out my preview of this on the channel. Look for Pimax Crystal Preview and you will see, you will know what, what, what's, what's the deal with that. Yes. What else can I tell you? I, th I can absolutely recommend this to you. And the only, the only hope I have is that Pimax can make enough units fast enough so that you don't have to wait too long for this. This is great. And I should also do some through the lens videos for this, just to show you how that looks. Okay, that is everything that I got here for you. Let me come out of this.
Okay, so I might look a bit tired because I didn't sleep very well, but this was nice. And I must make 100% sure this is not sponsored by Pimax. I simply like it. And um, yeah, so that is important to say. I know it's, uh, it's hard to believe it, being here in the Pimax headquarter to say these things, and, but it's, it is not sponsored. I really, really enjoy what I'm seeing and I know that you will enjoy that too. And I will show you some through the lens videos as well very soon here on the channel. All right, if you enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel now. Click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And I would be happy to meet you in the comment section or on the MRTV Discord server where you can chat with me and the MRTV community, ask some more questions about the Primus Crystal, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.